Find out the top 5 decks that dominate in the new meta in today's video. Hey guys, it's Ryan here and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today, as the meta finally begins to settle in, we're finally able to see a few decks that begin to stand out. Today, I will be sharing five of these decks, which I believe are truly some of the best ones that you can run in this newer meta. Now, just to quickly go over them, we'll start off with the Three Musketeers Royal Hogs deck, then we'll do P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam, Graveyard, Hogbait, and finally Golem. For each deck, I'll basically give a quick explanation of overall strategy, some tips and tricks, and also just provide some really casual gameplay of the deck in the background. So guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number 1, Royal Hogs 3 Musketeers. This is a deck that has actually been meta for quite a while now, and well, it still works, so of course it's going to make this list. This deck is part of the split lane archetype, and the entire intent of this deck is to overwhelm your opponent with those split 3 Musketeers and split Royal Hogs. Also, there's insane fireball and poison bait between the 3 Musketeers, Hunter, and Royal Hogs. Now, the general game plan for this deck is more casual during single elixir. You can start the match with, say, some cheap behind the king's tower, but mainly save those three musketeers and royal hog pushes until double elixir, or unless you have a really massive counter push. In double elixir time, oh boy, can you turn on the heat. Three musketeers and royal hogs, again, is a really expensive combination, so again, make sure that you don't overextend your elixir, because if your opponent is able to counter them, you may have a pretty sticky situation on your hands. Number 2. P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam is another classic deck that has been around for a little bit, kind of faded away, and finally has now made a comeback. With the increase in Royal Giant and other beatdown cards, P.E.K.K.A. really has a great role in many matchups and situations. In addition, the Bridge Spam element of this deck makes it really great at not only applying pressure after a big commitment, but also at applying double lane pressure. Now this deck is a mix between Control and Bridge Spam, meaning that you want to make those positive trades on defense, but you can also start off the match matched by, you know, maybe a bandit or a royal ghost behind the king's tower. When they make a pretty big commitment, just go ahead and dump in the opposite lane. Of course, make sure that you are saving your counters, such as saving a poison for a graveyard or an electro wizard for an inferno dragon. Number 3. Graveyard Barb Barrel. This is actually a relatively newer graveyard deck that I believe originated in the Korean Clash Royale community. After that Barbarian Barrel buff, this card is actually quite useful. Graveyard is also a great option to run in this matchup, mainly because Fireball is actually more popular than Poison, making it more likely that your opponent does not have a soft counter to your main kill card. While playing this deck, it's super important to start off quite passively. Now of course, again, if your opponent makes a big commitment, you can pressure opposite lane, but for the the most part, you kind of want to tone it down a bit. This deck has some amazing defensive capabilities with all of the splashers as well as tornado, so after a positive trade on defense, go ahead and go in with that graveyard. Number 4, Hogbait. This is another rather newer deck that has popped up in the past couple of days. This Hogbait deck contains some super crazy cards, including Inferno, the recently buffed Barbarian Barrel, as well as the recently buffed Skeleton Army. Now this deck has two kill cards, which means that it synergizes pretty well. With the Hog and the Bait element, uh, if your opponent has a hard counter to Hog, then just mainly play your Bait. If your opponent has great answers to Bait, then mainly play a Hog. Of course, for most matches, you will end up playing a mix of the two archetypes, so be sure you are proficient with both of those archetypes. Inferno is actually so clutch on defense, being able to shred almost any tank as well as popular kill cards such as Royal Hogs. Also, the Zap Bait synergy is just so strong with his deck, I can't see you having much of a problem getting to your opponent's tower or getting pummeled on defense. Just be careful not to give your opponent too much spell value. Number 5 new golem. Last but not least, we have another somewhat newer golem deck. This one with actually a cheaper cycle compared to most golem decks out there. Now, you generally want to play this deck just like any other classic golem deck, pretty passive in single elixir and turning on the heat in that last minute. In addition, don't be afraid to take some tower damage for a greater elixir advantage for you to build up a bigger push. Also, this deck has great synergies with the tombstone, flying machine, and night witch creating a fireball as well as a poison bait for your opponent. Also, the faster cycle of the golem deck allows you to cycle to more supporting units or another golem just a tad bit faster. In addition, tombstone is one of the strongest defensive structures 
archers in the game right now, so be sure to use that wisely. So there we go, five decks that I believe will dominate in this new October meta. Each deck has so many answers to popular cards and are all really well balanced and not hard to pick up. Adding on to that, some of the new cards such as Barbarian Barrel are actually really fun to play, which is really refreshing if you're getting kind of bored of the game. What other decks do well in the meta? Be sure to let me know in the comments section below. But unfortunately, guys, that's all I've got time for in today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below as well as a subscription to my channel. And as always, this is Legend Array, and I'm signing off. See you guys next time.